Hey, this be you, boy King Chemo. And um, I know I do a lot of joking and making fun of situations and stuff like that, but I think I just want to take this time to really just kind of sit down and have a one on one with you guys. Not really a one on one, but more like just a, a talk with you guys about what's going on here and how I feel about it as far as like everything going on with. From uh, George Floyd's death and murder, let's say murder, and all the other murders going on, you know, it's it's a real, real crazy time in history right now. And, you know, of course, the actions that we're seeing coming from few, as far as like the cops with this police brutality thing, is definitely, you know, kind of getting a little overwhelming watching the news and stuff like that. And you see all so much of it every year. It's just you become numb to it. Um, so you know that's a little bit on my my perception as a black person to this whole situation. Um, because you know I I do myself walk around with that fear of the police. Like I know they're here to protect, but it's like I feel like I gotta make sure I look like I'm not doing anything wrong a lot of the times. And that's not cool when you walk, you know, like oftentimes I go into stores and I volunteer my book bag before I go and go, you know, down the aisles and stuff. Because I don't even want to be approached about stealing anything. And it's crazy when you live in a world to where shit like that can happen, you know. And, you know, I know it's a, it's a lot of people out there that don't really understand that reality. And, you know, just becoming privy to it. And I just want to say, you know. It's good that you guys are just, you know, really looking into this and trying to dig into it. Those of you who are and trying to gain an understanding. So, you know, of course, there's still lynchings going on in 2020. That shit's sad. And, you know, it just makes me it makes me feel real bad. But what I can say is this is the first time I ever seen such a big, huge public reaction all across the world to this injustice and it really puts me in a situation where I feel very hopeful for the future I mean I feel so hopeful because things like Aunt Jemima one of the most long standing racist things you know and that was a part of a lot of our breakfasts growing up as kids you know what I mean and you know this whole time we've been like eating like a, a racial stereotype brand you know, Uncle Ben's Rice, all these companies are trying to move towards changing their logos and trying to be less offensive and making steps towards correcting the past. And when you see stuff like that happening, it, you know, it really brings hope, you know, and I got to say it's got to it's because of everybody, everybody's participation in this injustice, you know, whether you are white, black, Asian, Indian, you know, we're all people. And if I left anybody out, I apologize, you know, but the, the point that I'm trying to, you know, get here is that we're all people. And, um, you know, there's only one race, which is the human race. And we're all allotted to the same dignities and respect that other people are. And that's what this is all about. Like, I know a lot of you see a lot of the stuff going on in the news and you're like, I don't understand. Why are they so angry? And, you know, I really implore you to do your due diligence and, and research the situation. And even after you do that, you might not have a full understanding of what's going on. Because, you know, the really only way to really know how we feel is to walk in our shoes, you know. And that's not possible. But I do want to say I appreciate you guys for really just just showing out and showing up big. On behalf of us, especially if, you know, you don't have a dog in the fight. So, you know, that's something that I noticed. I'm sure a lot of my people notice that and it's much appreciated. You know what I mean? Um, so I think moving forward, there may be some change happening. You know, and, and the thing about change is no matter how big or little it is, you got to take it when it comes, you know. Like if it if it comes, just accept it. Just take the change. Move on. That's all you got to do. Um, but overall, you know, this is just us, you know, this is the world kind of saying like, you know, it's, it's time to really just end this, end racism and, 
you know, get more back to to valuing the the things this country was built on. Cause you know, I mean, don't get it wrong. I, I love America. This is this is where I've been my whole life. I don't know no other home. But I have just as much entitlement to this land as you do. And I'm talking to the white supremacists out there or anybody pushing this uh this racial divide going on, anybody who believes in that. I have just as much right to this land as you do. You know what I mean? I I, don't, I put my feet down on the ground every day like you do. I go to work every day. You know, there's some individuals of my race that don't go to work every day. There's some individuals of your race that don't go to work every day. That's a people thing. That's not a race thing. We're all people. So that's my standpoint. That's that's how I feel about it. Um, of course, some, some groups are more disproportionately counted than others. But... You know, I'm all about togetherness, man. That's what that's what it's all about. Like that's my final you know, that's how I feel about it. And I feel like we really are moving towards a sense of unity here in the world a little bit more. And it's just a it's a sad time, but it's also an exciting time when you think about the change that might be coming forth. So I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, just share my aspects and my ideas on how this is all shaping out and what we you know how we should view things or whatever. And, uh, you know, anybody out there that's, that's, uh, you know, I mean, I, I just offer condolences to the families because, you know, as we get upset about it because it's happening to us as a people, you know, these, these are people's brothers, sisters, you know, just from that aspect, if you just view it from that aspect, you should be able to develop some type of compassion of some sort. So, um, I just want to thank you guys for listening. I know this is a little bit not so much my usual vibe and stuff like that, but I just got to get this off my chest, man, and I couldn't let this time in history go by without making a statement on it. So thank you for hearing me out. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. You know, everybody, like and subscribe. You're welcome to join this channel. This is an all-inclusive channel of any walk of life. You know, we're all people, and we all got to live on this planet. And do it peacefully, you know what I mean? And, and and things could be so lovely. So I look forward to that change. I hope you guys are working towards that change in your own way every day. And, um, yeah, you know, thanks for looking out, guys. I'm out.